Over a decade ago, I told you that webcams were being remotely accessed. Over 10 years ago, I told you that scientific Atlantic cable boxes with the audio sensor, the microphone were being used, that everything you do on major on complex digital cable boxes, basically all the cable boxes that are out there now, they phased them in, are tracking everything you're doing, watching you. That's now all admitted. Your cell phone's tracking you, watching you. It's all mainstream news. And they just condition you and condition you. I mean, I remember 12, 13 years ago reading Pentagon documents, how they planned to microchip the whole population, how they were going to sell it under the guise of security, under the guise of VIP, getting into better clubs and facilities, how they were going to sell it in the guise of helping Alzheimer's patients, prisoners, and people would laugh at me because they hadn't heard it yet. Oh, microchips under our skin. Yeah, right. Now here we are, 10, 11 years later, and it's just, oh, yeah, all sorts of governments are making their politicians take them and having their, their attorney general's office in Mexico, everybody get chips, and yeah, okay, so what? Tell me something I hadn't heard. We've all been conditioned to accept it. And now Google comes out four years ago, says we're going to watch you and listen to you with the webcams, not even ask. Don't say you weren't warned. The head of Google, Schmidt, says, hey, don't do something on your computer you're ashamed of. And then it comes out in Philadelphia that the principal just thinks it's normal. He's out in the open. He's out in front of everybody. Running around saying that, yeah, uh, I saw you, Billy, uh, at home doing something you weren't supposed to in your bedroom last night. They're like, what? And the parents are still somewhat normal and not brainwashed. They go, wait, you're watching us at home off the computer we paid for that the school gave us, in quotes? We're going to sue you. And the principal went, well, I mean, it's only for your safety. Okay, we, you know, we do access these remotely, but it's only for security purposes to make sure the laptop wasn't stolen. And they go, wait a minute, this laptop wasn't stolen. And then Steve Watson found a frontline video clip we're going to play after the break from a year ago. And if you think this is out of context, you can link through on the PBS link we've got to the entire piece. The frontline piece is on their site for free, PBS. How great it is that they're sitting there watching the kids on their laptops at school and they don't even know. Just remote accessing. And they've got cameras in school bathrooms, school showers. It's come out in South Carolina and Tennessee and California and Michigan that the law enforcement in other states is accessing it. Just perverts. Criminals. And... They think you'll go along with anything authority says, so we're authority. We're now going to watch you at home. Yes, we're going to watch your daughters and sons in the showers at the school. I mean, if you found a hidden camera in your house, would you get upset? If your neighbor did it, you'd get upset. But if the government did it, you'd probably say, well, I guess we're the government. I... If somebody came to your door and knocked on it and said, we want to uh, put a camera in your house uh, just for your safety. Is that our... Oh, sure. No, you'd say, get out of here, pervert. But the government does it and corporations do it without asking, and it's like, well, I guess it's all right. And this frontline piece reports it like it's good. See, that's the whole issue. I mean, next, am I a radical because I don't want laptop computers and regular computers in my house watching and listening to me? Because I don't want a microchip? Because I know how to read ABC News talking about Operation Northwoods, U.S. government plan to stage terror? Truth is truth is truth. That's all I've got is the truth. That's my precious possession, and I will not sell it out for anybody. Now, since 2001, and since they first came out right after 2001 on the mainstream, asking this question, uh, are you willing to give up your personal freedoms for safety and security? Uh, an odd thing to say, I thought, at the time, when every major television station went into action with the so-called man on the streets, with the same questions. That was all were planned, obviously, that they all went on uh, into action at the same time with that question. Because that was the plan, you see. How do you get the public to go along with anything? You declare a form of martial law and use force and fear. Plus, remember, going back, going back to the Club of Rome, when it says, how do you unite the planet? Well, we must use warfare techniques. People give up their rights and freedoms to work towards a common cause. And that's what they chose back in the 70s. That's what they said themselves in their book, uh, The First Global Revolution, big think tank for the UN. And they're using this, you see, to ram all this stuff through. Oh, we've got to integrate for security reasons. 
for goodness sake. As they're standardizing the Middle East and causing all the problems that cause all the problems back home. Great uh, strategy, isn't it? Just warfare strategy, long-term planning and strategy, geopolitics. And we we go further and further with loss of privacy, and no one cares. I think lots, lots of the youngsters don't really care. They go through... Uh, they used to go through padding down, going through the schools. Then they brought in the electronic gates that scan you going through. And then they were doing locker raids, etc., etc. And zero tolerance for you could even take a, a, a nail file with you or, or nail clippers or so on and so on for weapons. You couldn't even take any um, pills in for migraines because, oh, that was drugs. And, and we've heard all these ridiculous things that have happened since, you know. And, and, and it's, it's, you're being trained. You're being trained that the only way you can live in this world is to have no freedoms whatsoever. You must let Big Brother know everything about you 24 hours a day. And he's got the right now to do it. So that's how you must believe and must think. What a change around in a few years. What a change around, isn't it? That for centuries people fought for something called freedom, which they often couldn't define except something better than what they had. Uh, and here we are getting everything up because a very cl- clever group of people uh, who are international bankers who move, who move billions across the stock market, across the world uh, on a daily basis, raising countries up, sinking others, running their parallel governments, using the world like a doll's house, and we're just the little dolls, they move around inside of it. And here's how far it's going now, too. Because now you've got all your other governmental affiliated organizations, the semi-public-private deal, even with the school systems, going to credible lengths to spy on people. This article here is from Mail Online. It's in other newspapers, too. U.S. school use secret laptop webcams to spy on pupils and parents at home. 19th of February 2010. A U.S. school district used laptop webcams to spy on students at home, potentially catching them and their families in compromising situations. Officials at Philadelphia can activate webcams on the computers without students' knowledge or permission, a lawsuit alleges. At least I've got a lawsuit in. Plaintiffs Michael and Holly Robbins suspect the cameras capture students from Harriton high school and family members as the undressed and in other embarrassing situations, has been alleged. It's said here, Harrington High School and Brian Moore, a family alleges at school, blah, 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 district used school-issued laptop webcams. So they gave them the laptop. See, everything, here's free. It's free because we love you, you see. And the students take them home with them, as they're supposed to do. Lower Marion School District officials said the laptops contain a security feature intended to track lost, stolen or missing laptops. That's the excuse they dreamed up. And that the feature was deactivated yesterday. We can categorically state that we are and have always been committed to protecting the privacy of our students. They lied. Oh, sorry, I added that last part because that's obviously what it is after they tried this out. Tom Halpern, a 15-year-old from Wynwood, said students are pretty disgusted and have started putting masking tape over the computer webcams and microphones. That's why they're in there, folks. The big boys admitted years ago that they've been using laptops from the beginning with built-in mics to listen to you. Now they've got the cameras in, and they activate them remotely. It says, the the Robinsons only learned of the alleged webcam images when an assistant high school principal told them Their son, that school officials thought he had engaged in improper behavior at home. Here they are. How many other were they they watching and taping and laughing over and doing all kinds of perhaps obscene things with as they voyeured into the homes and private lives of all these people? It says school officials cannot any more than police enter into the home either electronically or physically without an invitation or a warrant, Walzak said. That, well, I don't care what's got in the books, as I've said before, uh, and I've read stuff in the years gone by, where the governments admitted they worked with uh, the laptop uh, makers. Uh, most laptops doesn't make it the brand. It's made in an island off China. I think it's 70% of them are made in this one big factory. All the different brands, you see, one factory. And they put these things in with activation codes for governments. 
A school district statement released yesterday said the tracking feature could not be reactivated with express written notification to all students and families. Like they didn't do before, right? The affluent district prides itself on technology (laughs) technology initiatives, which include giving laptops to each of the approximately 2,300 students at its two high schools. So I wonder if if they were spying, and how long have they been spying on these 2,300 students and their families? Yeah, that's your brave new world. We're all here. And mind you, a lot of folk won't, won't mind. Oh, well, it's just like, you know, a reality show and uh, you dance in front of the computer naked or whatever else you're supposed to do as you emulate these little fools they put on you to emulate. And it works very well. Monkey see, monkey do. Very simple, isn't it? Every child now wants to be a star and cavort in front of the camera. Why do you think they gave you these reality shows? What's the message in them? I think we all know. 